So um, why don't we go into that and let's talk a little bit about kind of the vision for Vert Hash. Um, I know the last time you were on here, we kind of teased that a little bit, but um, if you want to give everybody a little bit of an update on the, the, the current status, kind of the, the, the different things that we're tackling um, from an R&D perspective uh, without giving away the house because we don't want you know any ASIC manufacturer to get a leg up on the new algorithm uh, prior to it being leased. Yeah, so I suppose there are there are several goals with this algorithm above and beyond uh, existing mining algorithms. Uh, so the first one is we want to deal with the outsourceability of mining. So what I what I mean by that is right now you have uh, mining proxies like NiceHash, where individuals can contribute their uh, mining power to that service. Uh, and not have to decide which coins they're mining or which algorithms they're mining on. Uh, NiceHash merely chooses for them uh, and then pays them for their work directly in, in Bitcoins. Uh, the problem with that is because these individuals are just blindly contributing their hash power in return for payment, uh, and because NiceHash doesn't impose any controls about what purchasers on the other side are doing with the hash power that they are renting, uh, it means that people can essentially rent an attack through this service uh, simply because of the amount of uh, compute that's available to purchase that. Uh, so what we're trying to do is, is build an algorithm where the barrier to uh, outsource your mining in that way, uh, i.e. have such a large disconnect between what you're actually mining uh, and your hardware, uh, such that individuals will be forced to uh, at least if they want to be profitable, think about which coin they're mining and perhaps make a choice about mining just one coin. Uh, so that's one aspect. The second aspect is obviously an increase in ASIC resistance. Uh, since Lyra 2, uh, both you know, REV1 and V2 were released, uh, you know, ASIC resistant algorithm design has, has progressed. Um, and Ethereum came out and they use at hash uh, and these memory bound algorithms have become more popular and more well researched. So uh, what we've seen in practice is that these memory bound algorithms uh, such as at hash have a much better uh, ASIC resistance profile, so to speak. The differential between uh, a potential ASIC design and the GPU design is, is much smaller than they otherwise could be. Uh, so we're changing the algorithm from the construction where it is now, or it's just like a straight hash function all the way through uh, to more of a two-phased approach like at hash users, where the main focus is on uh, accessing memory. Uh, but the hope is that that will provide additional ASIC resistance above what Lyra 2 provided. Okay, awesome. And yeah, you know, I know with uh, with whenever we're taking into consideration an algorithm, um, we're kind of trying to optimize that for GPUs, right? Not not for CPU or anything like that, because we're trying to avoid the whole botnet fiasco that happened years ago. And uh, Yeah, that's an aspect of it. Uh, the, the, that part is more difficult to achieve, uh, and it's unclear whether that will be achieved in practice yet, um, because it's quite difficult to cater for GPUs over CPUs necessarily without also... Uh, favoring ASICs because uh, a lot of the things that GPUs are good at, ASICs are also pretty good at. So, oh, okay. Um, but we have several ideas to deal with that, and and ultimately it's it's in the sort of testing and experimentation phase now, taking out our ideas, putting them on the GPU, and, and seeing how they perform compared to the CPU. Okay, and I know one of the other things that has been floating around the community over the last few weeks or so is the fact that we're looking to repurpose the exchange fund um, for vert hash development. Um, can you kind of go into a little bit of uh, how that would accelerate uh, and, and the vert hash development and how it would keep the quality of the algorithm um, up in order for us to be able to get it out as soon as possible uh, to avoid any sort of ASIC attacks or anything like that? Yeah, it's just about time frame ultimately. So the same individual that um, claimed the bounty for the AMD miner, um, we've also asked them to help out with working on the, the new algorithm. Um, and in order to motivate that work, uh, there needs to be some form of compensation. Um, and yeah, it's the difference between waiting several months for it to come out and waiting you know, maybe one or two months for it to be ready. Mm -hmm. um, 
simply because the amount of people who know how to program this kind of software is, is very small compared to the demand for uh, software to be written. And thus we're competing with all the other projects who want their algorithm implemented as well as you know, all of the people doing machine learning who want their neural network implemented and so on. Uh, and so you have to pay a premium. Rev2 lasted, what, two years, three years or so? Yeah, I, I wanted close to three years. Yeah. So, I mean, ideally, Verthash lasts even longer without having to get any sort of tweaks or anything like that. Right. Well, this is the thing, right? Because there are two options here. Either we can move to a completely new algorithm design, which is what we're currently aiming towards, or we can make a very small tweak to the existing algorithm. Uh, obviously, the latter doesn't take long at all. Like, I, it's something I can do in 10 minutes. Like, it's mm -hmm. dead easy. But, you know, how much longevity is that going to have? And is it just going to be the case that we're going to have to hard fork again three months from now because they push a firmware update to their ASIC or FPGA that deals with the problem? Um, so on the basis that we also have these other problems with respect to NiceHash, I think it's worth taking the extra time to think through what the, the new design should be uh, so that we can fork as, as little as possible.